Kitchen. Today we are going to take some frozen blueberries and turn it into some delicious blueberry syrup. So let's get started. All right, friends, for this recipe, I'm going to be following the Ball Complete Guide of Home Preserving. This recipe is on page 195 in this book. So let's get started. All right, friends, for this recipe, we are going to use eight cups of blueberries. You can either use fresh or frozen, doesn't matter. I will end up doubling this recipe because I'm going to use this entire bag. All right, friends, so starters, we're going to go ahead and measure out our blueberries for this recipe. We need eight cups of blueberries. To our eight cups of blueberries, we're going to add two cups of water. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on the stove and bring it up to a gentle boil. We're going to let it boil for five minutes and then we're going to turn it off. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and smash these blueberries down a little bit and help extract the remainder of the juice. All right, now that our blueberries are boiling, we're gonna go ahead and put on a timer for five minutes. All right, friends, it's been five minutes. I went ahead and took the blueberries off the stove. Here I've got another stainless steel pot. I've got a strainer and I've got my cheesecloth. We're gonna go ahead and strain our blueberries because all we want is the juice. And we're gonna let it sit here for about two hours to completely drain all the juice from the blueberries and then we'll come back and get started on our next step. All right, I'm gonna let this sit on the stove until it completely drains. We'll see you back in two hours. All right, friends, my blueberry juice is all done. It has strained out. So now I need to go ahead and get my canner going. I went ahead and put four of my pint size jars in here. I cleaned them really well, and now they're gonna sit in the boiling water until I'm ready to pull them out and fill them with our liquid. Now let's get started on our syrup. All right, friends, so now to our stainless steel pot, we are gonna mix our remaining water and our sugar. So that's four cups of water and three cups of sugar. We're gonna go ahead and bring it to a boil. We want it to reach 230 degrees. Once it hits that degrees, then we're gonna go ahead to our next step. All right, friends, now that our water and sugar has come up to boil, it's about 230 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and add in our blueberry juice. We're going to go ahead and bring this back up to a boil and we're going to let it boil for five minutes. All right, my blueberry syrup is now boiling. We're going to go ahead and set a timer for five minutes. All right, friends, as soon as the five minutes is up, you're going to go ahead and remove your pot from the stove and stir in two tablespoons of lemon juice. You want to make sure that you're using the bottled lemon juice when you're doing this. Now go ahead and get your hot jars out of the pot. Now go ahead and use your funnel and we're going to start filling up these jars with our hot blueberry syrup. Make sure you're leaving a fourth of an inch of headspace in your jars. Get yourself a rag with some white vinegar on it and clean the rims of your jars. Go ahead and pop on your lids and add your rings finger tight. Now carefully carry these back over to your canner and put them inside the canner. These are going to be water bath canned, so you want to make sure you bring it up to a boil and that the water is covering all of your jars. Now we're going to go ahead and put on the lid and we're going to let these boil for 10 minutes. All right, friends, and there we go. After 10 minutes of processing in your canner, take off the lid, let it rest for five minutes, and then remove your jars. Let them completely cool on your counter. They should seal. Once they're sealed, go ahead and put them in your pantry. If they don't seal, go ahead and process them again, just like we did for another 10 minutes, and they should seal that time. If not, stick them in your fridge and use them up in a few weeks. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this recipe that we made today with blueberry syrup. Until next time, friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well, and have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.